It's the NFL on EA Sports. And at center stage, it's the Raiders veteran running back. It was a nice week for him last time out. A 107-yard game. It's the Raiders and the Jags next on EA Sports. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the Sunshine State in TIAA Bank Field here in Jacksonville. Today we've got a Week 8 matchup on tap here between the Las Vegas Raiders and the Jacksonville Jaguars. Brandon going alongside Charles Davis. Uh, CD, you look at the Jaguars in this matchup, but with how good they have been, it's not often that we can say they come into a game truly facing a challenge, but Charles, that, that's the case this week. Absolutely. What a challenge it is because they're now coming into this one, and they don't exactly have a clear advantage, something that they usually possess in every game they play with the way that they throw the football. I can't wait to see if they change things, if they emphasize different things than we've seen throughout this season, how they go about trying to move the ball down the field. kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback so here's the first drive now for the Jags they'll be led out by the number one overall pick back in 2020 from LSU it's Joe Burrow okay I thought there was something to build on in last week's game by his performance I thought he played fairly well overall the numbers won't knock your socks off two touchdown passes and an interception the bottom line though they lost yeah how does he eliminate that one interception, continue to take care of the ball, and maybe increase the number of times he puts the ball in the end zone with a receiver? Well, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Quandre Diggs. And the Raiders are going to take possession of the football. And part of why they came to this week with a winning record is that they feed off of mistakes like this. And now it's a prime opportunity, just moments in the game, to get a short field touchdown off of their big defensive play. Now on the other side, they were already the underdog in this one. They just made their uphill battle just a little bit tougher. So here are the Raiders now with great starting field position. And they are led out there by their mobile quarterback. And what he's thinking about right now is first down, let's find a way to make a big play. Because when you get a sudden change situation and that defense has to rush onto the field unexpectedly, you might catch them having a defensive breakdown or not quite prepared. And it was really sudden after the first play picked off. Stevenson now on first and 10. He'll get this down to the 21 just on the edge of the red zone. And the rushing numbers for Stevenson from last week, 19 carries, 107 yards. I think he's exactly where he wants to be coming into a game, partner, because he has to still be riding the momentum from last week when he broke the century mark in rushing and had one of his best individual efforts of the season. I would expect that there's more from him on the way after that type of a game, and I know his teammates and coaches, they feel exactly the same way. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Morgan looks to throw it. Checking this down to Stevenson. Now he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. Now Justin Tucker's out to try the field goal. From the right hash. This from 33. Tucker's kick is good. And the Raiders jump out to a 3-0 advantage. So the interception set him up with terrific field position, but three points, the end result. Yeah, we can make this one pretty simple, partner. You always want to end drives with points, but that's one that you're going to look back on and probably say we should have done better there. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. So time to see Jacksonville again on offense for the second time here in this game. And they'll be looking to make amends for that first drive, which came to a rather abrupt ending certainly did and I remember going back to my notes before this game and a lot of times when I scout a guy I have a little section about how does he handle adversity and in this case a big check mark he may have thrown the first interception but I don't think he's going to throw very many more they'll operate from the 32 yard line here second and three Burrow will throw 
This throw incomplete, nearly picked off. And with his pedigree, he doesn't drop many of those. But third down coming up. Burrow on third down. Able to find his man, it's Pickens. And he is going to have a Jags first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And that's how you shake off the interception he threw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. And Burrow going to throw again. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. They'll try the right side with Jones. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Throwing now, Burrow on first down. He finds Pickens over the middle. And they're going to get this down near the 35-yard line. On second and very short, Burrow. Oh, you saw that one coming. It's intercepted, thrown back across his body. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the Raiders are going to take possession of the football. And not the first quarter that he was hoping for. Now two interceptions thrown. Well, the good ones, they find a way to compartmentalize, right? Put these behind them, have that short memory, but understand why they threw the two interceptions. They go on and usually play a pretty decent game. Other quarterbacks, they have a hard time getting past it and often put the ball up for grabs the rest of the ball game. Here's Morgan. Finding his target, it's Trey McBride. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. From the 40 now on second down, Morgan. That's to the speedster, Olamide Zacchaeus. And he'll be taken down here just shy of the 30. The Raiders at 500, 3-3 three and three through the season's first six weeks. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display in that victory. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Play action with Morgan. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust to that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you. And you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability and a sack resulted. And not an easy spot here. They'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Here's Morgan to throw. And that is incomplete. Now Justin Tucker is out to try the field goal. He's going to need a little mustard on this one. It will be a 51-yard attempt. Tucker's kick is good. And that will make it 6 to nothing. But they already had the early lead, and they get the interception, Charles, and now they add three more with the field goal. Yeah, they're in control of how this game is playing out so far. You mentioned the early lead. Now they're expanding on it, getting plays on both sides of the ball. A winning recipe if they can keep this up. And from back there, a wise move. He'll just sit on this one, and it'll come out to the 25. The Jaguars' offense now heads back onto the field. As the offense comes out here, Charles, remember they threw the interception last time out, but they were moving the football down the field. Looked like they were going to have a sustained drive that ended in points, but then the pick ensued. And because of that, there's no way you can call the last drive a success. Yes, there are things to build on because they found some play calls at work. Now they've got to build another drive and find a way to avoid the turnover the plague did on the last one. So following the hold, they're in a bit of a hole here with a first and 20. 
Up the middle, Jones. And he's able to get up here to the 26. The last play got just a yard. Here's second and nine from the 26. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave them trying to convert on third and nine. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. And here's another interception, the third of this first quarter. And the Raiders are going to take possession of the football. A nightmare of a first half for him. That's now three interceptions. But Charles, with his talent, if anyone can shake this off and right the ship, it's him. I agree because you don't get to be one of the best quarterbacks in the league without developing some major mental toughness. So I expect him to go to the locker room at halftime, hit the reset button, and come out a new guy in half number two. Straight ahead at Stevenson. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. From the 24, Morgan. His throw incomplete. A third field goal in the first half. Not what they're looking for as they come up on third down. Now Morgan. And he fires one, but incomplete. Oh, that's going to hurt a bit because they needed to come through with a completion there. Now a drive that started with great field position is facing fourth down. Tucker's kick is good, and that will make this a nine-point lead. So that one is his third of the game. Now, if you're wondering, that's only halfway to his career high, as he once had six oh, field goals. Oh, Brandon, but, but six? Let's hope we don't get that again, please. Okay, can, can we see a few touchdowns here and there? That'd be nice. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And out now comes Jacksonville as they get ready to go. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself, how you show your team that you're still with it, and how you continue to lead. Certainly no settling into the drive there. They came right out on the first play and attacked the middle of the field for a big gainer and a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. And inside give to Jones. And he fights forward for a modest two-yard gain, second down. Throwing on second and eight. Burrow looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Watkins. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. On third down, Burrow. And one more time, that's Watkins. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. After one, it's 9-0. Second quarter now from Jacksonville, and it's the Jags with the football. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. The give is to Jones. And he'll get this to the 22. So they began to play at the 11, and it's a gain of 11. First down. Exactly what they needed right there. Because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. They'll keep on the ground with Jones. And he's got four down inside the 20 to the 18. 
to throw on second and six. Burrow looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And the Jaguars are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Those are the kinds of plays right there that show you why he's the number three man of the NFL in terms of receiving yards. Also tells you there's a full combination of what he's got going in his game. You name it from route running to catching the football. That's why he's able to produce those types of numbers. The kicker fest so far, all points via field goals. They're hoping to change that right here. And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a touchdown. Adam Prentice, his first touchdown on the year. And the Jaguars have cut it back within a score. Well, they weren't messing around. First and goal, they don't do anything fancy. They just go to the fullback right away. I like how you phrase that because oftentimes they come back to the fullback when it's late in the down and distance count, right? In this case, first down, let's go get it right now. And he got it six points on the board. The Rodrigo blanket ship now for the PAT. And they're back within a couple at 9-7 now. So that guy takes him down the field in eight plays. And it results in a 40-yard touchdown run. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. Good morning, afternoon, lady. How are you? And Appreciate the alert. You got, it looks like you got a new alert symbol out. It looks dope. So here are the Raiders now to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. Throwing now is Morgan. Steps away to his left. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. I guess no need to force it when you can do that instead. First down, 18-yard gain. As we both know, there was a lot that went into why they made him their first-round pick this year. And part of it was what they saw in college, his playmaking ability when things break down. As soon as he saw he wasn't getting a lane to throw, he pivoted and found an alternate way to the marker. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Now a handoff, Stevenson. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. From just shy of midfield, Morgan. He'll get this underneath to Stevenson. And they'll get this down to around the 47-yard line. They'll try the left side with Stevenson. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. Again, it's Stevenson. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. Give them 12 yards that time. And the last one is first. And they continue to run for this right up the middle. I don't know if they can wait till halftime to make adjustments. They better find a way to get it done series to series. I don't know if they need to sub some guys out, bring in extra people, maybe change what they're doing on the defensive side of the ball. But right now, they're running the ball very well right out them and right up the middle. 11 yards for number 11. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. On the handoff, Stevenson. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Now it's Stevenson. And a couple of yards as they move it from the 21 to the 19. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Toward the back corner of the end zone, but he could not get the feet down. This will wind up incomplete. So the ball's moved to about the one after the penalty, first and goal. Stevenson he is not going to get in here as they push him back to the two-yard line. 
Back at the two now. Here's second and goal. They'll run with Stevenson. Yeah, this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. Right now, no questioning the toughness of this Jaguar defense. This is third and goal. They'll try and run. Stevenson. And yeah, this is going to depend on his spot, but I believe he might be a few inches short. Now Justin Tucker is out to try the field goal. From the right hash at a bit of a tight angle. Tucker's kick is good. And that will push the lead up to 12-7. So they're able to end that drive with three points in this one possession ball game. And ideally, you want to end every drive with points. Most quarterbacks, you tell you, let's end it with a kick, right? A PAT, that's number one. Field goal you'll take. Punts, you really don't want to do that. In this case, they'll take the field goal and get prepared for the rest of the game. Here's Aaron Jones in the offense trotting back out. Those are his numbers through roughly the first half of the season, and given that, you'd have to think he's on pace for a 1,000-yard campaign. Steady as he goes, steady goes the offense, but you know what else is happening, too, because they are a team now recognized with the ability to run the football. You've got to be able to throw it better now, right? Better throwing lanes, better opportunities for the guys downfield. Maybe more one-on-one -on -one coverage, which you should be able to beat easier. Yeah, he's, st he's establishing. He's got a man complete. And he will be taken down, but a big play there as it comes just as we reach the two-minute warning. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Now a draw play. This is Jones. And not a lot of daylight. Not really any daylight inside as he's going to be stopped right at the line of scrimmage. Brings up second down. And that is caught. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Chris Godwin with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Jaguars have moved out in front. A good hold in these wet conditions. The point after is up and good. And the lead is now two. Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. And he'll just take a seat, and the drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Now the Raiders offense, they get set to head back on the field. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three points and, is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. The Raiders try to move quickly, try to get everybody back to the line. He completes it to Jones. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. The Raiders going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. Morgan. Zacchaeus here hauling it in. And out of bounds on the other side of midfield at the 45. 11 more on that one and another first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. Morgan sets up to throw on first down. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. Morgan's throw complete to McBride. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. When you get a big tight end like this, sometimes it takes more than one man to bring him down. Oftentimes your best bet, just jump on and hold on and wait for your teammates to arrive to help get him on the ground. From the third team now, they work on first and ten. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And Jones has it over the middle. Give him a gain of five on the completion, and that'll bring up second down. 
Set to throw is Morgan. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Now the Raiders going to burn their third and final timeout as it'll come with 15 seconds to play in the first half. Tucker's kick is good, and they have regained the lead. So it's another field goal here. He may need to ice his leg after this one. That's now five field goals converted in this game alone. Yeah, get the trainer. They're going to need this guy, and they've needed every single one of the field goals he's made, too. If they're going to get out of here with a win, I say he gets a game ball. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And with eight seconds on the clock, really not a lot of time to try to put anything together. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. Final play of the half for Burrow and company. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. So a very tight first half. We had to break in a one-point game. As we send you a couple hours south of here to Orlando, that's where we check in with a coach at our EA Sports Halftime Report. All right, Brandon, thanks very much. Hi again, everybody. Let's get you caught up with what's going on around the league here in the unofficial midway point, week eight of the NFL season. We'll begin in the Meadowlands, an AFC's matchup between New England and the New York Jets. And it's the Patriots leading that one in the second quarter. James Robinson with a couple of touchdowns there. We'll stay in the NFC East as we head down to the great state of Texas to check on the Cowboys at home at AT&T Stadium. And at the half, they are down to the visiting New York Giants. Trevor Lawrence with a couple of touchdown passes there. Finally, let's get down to Houston. Check on the Texans at home at NRG Stadium. And you can see... They have the lead over the visiting Tennessee Titans. Three touchdown passes there for Mac Jones. On now to a check on the next-gen stats in the first half for the Raiders. And it was a tricky half to figure out numbers-wise. They've got the lead, but you'd figure they're definitely talking about ways to get this passing game back on track. Meanwhile, for the Jaguars, they were much more successful throwing the football than their counterparts, as you can see the numbers there. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. From just inside the 20, a short kick. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. The Raider offense ready to go here to start the third quarter. And they've got the lead. CD, what do you think the message was at halftime? I don't think the message was too drastic, I think, at the half, or that they need to change things too much. I do think the offensive line could play a little bit better. I think they'll try and help them out more. They'll probably keep a tight end in a few more times and maybe add a running back to the formation to pick up those pass rushers because they probably allowed a few too many sacks for comfort in the first half. Stevenson gets it again on second down. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time and making it work. They run once more with Stevenson. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. On second and nine, Morgan. And this is incomplete. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. He completes it to Julio Jones. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Jaguars 40. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. Whenever we talk about moving the sticks and controlling the football, there's a great example right there. Those are the third downs you need to convert to win football games. We're in the third quarter of this one, and this is a tight one. In order to maintain pace, keep the ball away from the other team and put points on the board, those are the plays they need to continue to convert. Here's Stevenson. Oh, he's got some breathing room. 
And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. 79 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, that is a running back who is not about to go down easily. He fought his way through the contact until the seas opened up for him. And with a guy his size, you have to know defensively that arm tackles aren't going to fly with him. You have to be able to wrap up, or else he can just brush tacklers aside like they're not even there. And the next-gen stat shows us the tale of how much yardage he was able to pick up after the initial contact. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Here's Stevenson. And this time the yards won't come so easy as they'll in fact tackle him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard and it'll be second down. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and make sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. Now from the nine, here's second and goal. Morgan looks to throw it. Sideline throw, it's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes inbounds. That time the completion goes for four yards and we're set up with a third and goal. All right, say it with me now. There's a lot of different words we come up with. Maybe we go back and forth after that play, getting his toes tapped down to make that catch. Crafty? Yep. Wiley? Oh, definitely. All the veteran names? You name it. Has every move in the book and continued to get better throughout his career so he can make that type of a catch. And that is caught. Touchdown, Raiders. Randall Cobb, a five-yard touchdown. And the Raiders take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. His first career touchdown pass, and yeah, you know, it's cliche to say, but he's probably been envisioning this since he was a little kid. That's a cool moment. It really is. So enjoy the moment, enjoy the time, celebrate, save the full reflection for later, but make sure you grab someone on the sidelines and say, hey, make sure I get that football, okay? Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. And a couple yards deep, he'll go to a knee. He won't return it. And they'll take it out to the 25. Here comes the Jags offense now. Time for their first possession of half number two. They'll try and get the running game going with Jones. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 26. On second and nine. Burrow. He's got Watkins on the out route. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. He has a first down, and that catch will also put him over 100 yards receiving now in the afternoon. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. Now a first down carry by Jones. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at him and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. Now they go play action now. Burrow rolling to his left. Drops it to Jones in the flat. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Throwing again on second down. Burrow throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. If they want a first, they need to get the football to the 32 here on third down. Burrow looking to pass. Throw left side, hauled in by Pickens. And I don't think he got there, no. He's short by maybe a foot, maybe. Call it fourth and inches. So much.
much about offense is what you call hidden yardage. You know, you, you throw the ball to someone, they catch it, and then they can make a big play. You know, they create a play, run after catch. They did a really nice job there of limiting that and keeping them from a first down. They have stopped him in his tracks. I don't think this will even go. It doesn't even get there. Well short. Always disappointing when you miss a field goal, but when you're playing against a defense this good, you and I both know that's a crucial miss because you can't afford to leave any points out there. You've got to take them when you can. The Raider offense now making their way toward the huddle. Well, the football changing hands here, and as this offense takes a field, Charles, they'd be fine with more of the same on this upcoming drive. Last time out, they found the end zone for six. And they're certainly hoping for more of the same, but the game plan, I doubt it'll just be a carbon copy of the last drive because I think this offense is ready to break out some new wrinkles and try some new things that might be hidden in their playbook. They want to use that confidence to its advantage while also keeping the defense from anticipating what's up next. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Up the middle, here's Stevenson. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Straight ahead, it's Stevenson. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 102 yards on the ground so far for Stevenson. And a first down. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon. And I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. So from the 36 now, first and 10. They run with Stevenson, and he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. On second and seven, Morgan. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Brandon, you know I'm all about quarterbacks protecting themselves, but I have to admit it. I liked what I just saw there. That rookie wasn't afraid of absorbing a big hit. Now, you don't want to see him taking those shots all game long, but he picked up the first down, kept fighting for yards, and was willing to embrace some contact to keep the play moving. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Out of the gun, they give it to Stevenson. And he'll manage to pick up about four in second down. Stevenson gets it again on second down. Call it a gain of a yard, and it's going to bring up third and five. Throwing from the gun is Morgan. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. We have played three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Jacksonville. It's the Raiders with the lead and the football here as we get ready to start quarter number four. Tucker's kick is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So that's CD, an important one here in the fourth quarter. And that importance cannot be overstated. All eyes on both sidelines were staring that one down all the way. The significance is that they made it a two-score game. Still lots of time left to go, but likely that was their goal at the start of the drive. Get three points, make it a two-score game, and they were able to get it done. Jacksonville back on offense and ready to take over. And the complexion of this one has changed a fair amount. That last field goal made it a two-score game, so they need to get points out of this drive relatively quickly. Now Burrow on first down. Over the middle, he's got Watkins. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and it's second down. Burrow throw. He sets to fire deep, and this will be broken up and incomplete. Now a penalty flag down, and they may be going backward here. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. 
Now it's Burrow. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And that will be incomplete. Trying to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Looking downfield for Godwin. Oh, this is taken in. It's complete. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Able to convert on third and 14. A terrific play call. There's no doubt in my mind that not many guys in this league have had the impact that he's had here in the first half of the season. He's been a big play guy from the word go and continues to be one with another one right there. Throwing again, it's Burrow. Open man is Jordan, the tight end. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Calling a gain of three on the play. And that will bring up second down. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And his pass incomplete. But he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. Here's Burrow. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. And this one is no good. He missed it. And they will remain two scores down as the difference holds at 11. And that one, just an absolute killer. A chance to get this back within one score. All hope not gone yet. But at the same time, you're exactly right. They needed to get back within one score and have a motivated defense take the field in order to get it back for them for one last big drive. The Vegas offense ready for their next possession. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away. Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. 121 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. And carries like that, that's how they're going to continue to salt this thing away here, Charles, in the fourth quarter. Yeah, how about that? A new set of downs. Clock continues to move. No better way to close out a game than to tap those mastodons you have up front and say, guys, keep pounding them. Let's keep the ball, keep their offense on the sidelines, and let's close this one out. Back to Stevenson on first down. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. On second down, it's Stevenson. Two yards the gain there, and now they're left with a third and about four for first. Here's Morgan. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked off by Marshawn Lattimore. And the Jaguars are right back in this football game. From the 32 now. Here's first and 10. They'll start out on the ground with Jones. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Here's Jones again on second down. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Now Burrow. Setting up the screen here, Aaron Jones. And he is going to lose yardage here. And despite the completion, they're going to wind up losing three there. Second down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one-possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. To throw again on second down. Burrow. He sets up the screen to Jones. Nothing on the screen that time. Now it's third down. I thought that wasn't a bad time to call the screen. I thought late game, down on the scoreboard, had to figure they were expecting a pass downfield. Yeah, so the edge rushers, they're coming. That could have hit big. You're right. Good recognition defensively to snuff that one out. The offense on third down, they've hit at 50%. Three of six to this point. This is third down and 12. 
Able to find his man. It's Pickens. And he's going to have another first down as the tackle comes at the Raiders 33. A really nice gain of 25 yards. You cannot write these guys off just yet. Not with a quarterback like that under center. You mean it actually crossed your mind with him running the team that you could actually maybe write this game off? Not yet. Not a chance. Not with him. We've seen it too many times. So here's a first and 10 now in Raider territory. Down at the 33. Again, it's Burrow. Sideline throw. It's complete. And a nice job there of keeping the toes in bounds. Looking to throw again on second down. Burrow. That one caught along the sideline. Did he stay in? Yes, he did. But hang on here. A penalty marker is on the field. Well, certainly those are the types of mistakes they're trying to avoid as they attempt to protect this lead late in the game. And let's face it, they're hoping that this one doesn't cost them in a significant way. Yeah, one guy committed a penalty, but now the entire defense has to pay the price and try and rise up and overcome it. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Throwing again on second and ten. Burrow. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. Finally hauled down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop him. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Jaguar football here as we welcome you back. They face a third down now as they try to find a late score. Burrow. And that's knocked away and incomplete. Out there is Rodrigo Blankenship in the field goal unit. From the right hash, it's a 38-yard attempt. Blankenship's kick is good. And that'll make this an eight-point game. So you knew one way or another that they needed the two scores. They get the easy one out of the way. Now they'll get the ball back, hopefully. Yeah, and the question is, how do you accomplish that? Do you onside kick it? Or since you have all three timeouts, do you kick it deep? To me, I'm playing field position with all three timeouts. I kick it deep and try and pin them back there. Here's Las Vegas ready to take the field. Well, they can smell victory, partner. They can see it on the horizon, but certainly we're not done yet here. Defense still has three timeouts, and obviously this is a very slim lead they're holding on to. And let's face it, the easiest way to get this done, challenge your ground game, challenge your offensive line, your tight ends, your receivers, anyone who's going to lay down a block. Don't let there be penetration because they're going to stack the line of scrimmage and maybe bring extra people to the ball. If you can do that, make them burn their timeouts, run out the clock, life will be good. But if you really want to gamble a little bit, a quick play action, quick throw, might be able to get it done. Just make sure it's not incomplete and stop the clock. They'll try and run for the first with Stevenson. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. The Jaguars now will use the last of their timeouts. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. And they'll indeed take a knee. Second and 11 now. Now a handoff, Stevenson. And no room that time, getting it to about the 46. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full 10 here to pick up the first down and move the chains. The Raiders likely going to get out of this with a victory as they take a name. So this one, a victory for the Las Vegas Raiders. And it was their defense that led the way, allowing just three points, that lone field goal in the entire second half. And remember the old adage, offense sells tickets. Defense does what? Wins championships. And in this game, maybe a championship wasn't won, but a game was by the defense, right? Held them in just a field goal. That's a heck of a job. I mean, when they went out there with that determination and a pretty good game plan, pretty good idea of what they wanted to accomplish, 
Just love the execution, love the tenacity, love the way they finished. So for Las Vegas, they move back over 500 now at four and three. And they'll return home next week.